Yeah, these guys, they come on uh, our channels. Guys like this Child of Light reprobates. And basically, they uh, just like the wicked Pharisees, Sadducees, and scribes, they try to trap Yahweh Shai in his words. These individuals, they try to, one of the things they try to do is sow discord among brethren, you know. Now, in this case, as an example of this individual, child of light, which is a joke, he's trying to sow discord between myself and the Apostle Ta'a. Now, this is based upon a video I did here. We are not under the new covenant. What we are under is grace. And I totally explained that in the last video I did. Uh, when you're under the new covenant, you don't sin. Okay, under the new covenant, it's impossible to sin. Which one of these clowns that disagree with me can tell me that they don't sin? We all sin, okay? Why do we all sin? Because we're, we are in sin, sinful flesh. If you go in the book of Romans, now the Apostle Paul, he spoke about that. Romans, the seventh chapter, this is the conclusion the Apostle Paul came to. Uh, let's begin at the 18th verse. Well, let's start at the uh, 14th verse. Now, you see the subhead in here. It says the, con the conflict of two natures. <laughs> That's what we're pretty much in right now, being in this faith, being in this knowledge. Uh, our, there's this constant war going on, you know, the battle between the flesh and the spirit. Hence, the conflict of, of, uh, of two natures. It says, now, these are the words of the Apostle Paul, right? This is what he said. He said, For we know that the law is spiritual, but I am carnal, sold under sin. Guess what, brothers? If you're under the new covenant, you're not carnal, all right? You're spiritual, all right? Under the new covenant, you are not carnal. You are spiritual, totally spiritual, right? For we know that the law is spiritual, but I am carnal, sold under sin. For that which I do... I allow not that which I do. What, what does he want to do? He wants to be spiritual all the time. Now, guess what? Under the new covenant, when you receive those new bodies, under the new, the new covenant, you're going to be spiritual all the time. It'll be impossible for you to sin. It'll be impossible for you to go off. We go off because we're in the sinful flesh. Hence, we are not under the new covenant right now. All right? We are under grace to learn about the new covenant. That's what we're under, and that's the conclusion the Apostle Paul came to. We're under grace. For that which I do, I allow not. For what I would, that do I not. But what I hate, that do I. What I hate, that do I. See? So he hates being carnal, but he still does it. Why? He's going to tell you why. If then I do that which I would not, I consent Unto, I consent unto the law that it is good. Now then it is no more I that do it, but sin that dwelleth in me. Again, brothers, if you're under the covenant, the new covenant, if you're under the new covenant, sin cannot dwell in you. If you're under the new covenant, sin cannot dwell in you. Okay? <laughs> you, it's impossible for you to sin under the new covenant. What is sin? Transgression of the law. The law, look, 1 John 3 and 4 tells us what sin is, right? Transgression of the law. Under the new covenant, the law will be instituted in you totally. You will totally keep the law. You will be perfect under the new covenant. Okay? <laughs> I mean, it's so easy to understand this. 18 verse. For I know that in me, this is the conclusion the Apostle Paul came to, and we should all come to that same conclusion, right? For I know that in me, that is in my flesh, are we not all in the flesh? Yes, we are. Our bodies have not been changed yet. We're waiting for our bodies to be changed. That's what Yahweh is coming with, right? For I know that in me, that is in my flesh, dwelleth no good thing. For to will, so we're not good. Even, wait a minute, when they came to Yahweh Shai and they said, good master, right? Yahweh Shai, <laughs> this is Yahweh Shai, right? 
He said, why are you calling me good? None is good except the Father. Now, at that point, was Yahweh Shai, had he been perfected yet? No, he hadn't been perfected yet. Now, after he died, spent three days in the grave, 72 hours in the tomb, and then he was raised by the Father, that's when he was perfect. He was perfect. All right? He was perfect. Because if that's the case, why would, when, he was, when it was said to him, good master, why would he say, why are you calling me good? None is good except the Father. And he made reference to his father, Yahweh. Why would he have said that? No, he was perfected. As a matter of fact, he made another statement, Yahweh Shai said, on the third day, I shall be perfected. Now, what happened after those three days when he laid in the tomb? He was risen by the Father Yahweh, and guess what? He was perfected. He was perfected, okay? So, even Yahweh Shai said, right, that he wasn't good, okay? He said, none is good except the Father, until he was made perfect, until he was perfected. Why would he make the statement, on the third day, I shall be perfected? There you go, something for you to think about. Anyway, for I know that in me that is in my flesh dwelleth no good thing. For to will is present with me, but how to perform that which is good I find not. Right? For the good that I would, I do not. But the evil which I would not, that I do. Again, under the new covenant, you can't do evil. Under the new covenant, you can't do evil. You, you can't even have so much as an evil thought. You are perfect. Under the new covenant, you... Phone had to chime on that one. Under the new covenant, you are perfect. You are perfect. Just like Yahweh Shai is perfect. Yahweh Shai himself has been perfected. He said it. He said, uh, on the third day, I shall be perfected. Let me see if I can find that. that those were his words. Right? I shall be perfected. There you go. So you know it's not just me saying it. Luke 13 and 32. Right? Check this out. Luke 13 and 31. The same day there came certain of the Pharisees saying unto him, Get thee out and depart hence, for Herod will kill thee. And he said unto them, Go ye and tell that fox, because Herod was real slick. We've gone into that time and time again, what it means by a Herod being a fox. Okay, we've, we've already explained that. All right, let's just keep moving on. I want to get to the point. Behold, I cast out devils and do cures today and tomorrow, and the third day I shall be perfected. There you go. There you go. The third day shall be perfected. What he meant by that? He'd have to spend three days in the grave, three days in the tomb. And on the fourth day, he'd be risen, the beginning of the fourth day, right? And he would be in a perfect state. He would be perfected. Now, did he say, as a matter of fact, let's get that scripture because I quoted it. Thou me good. Let's get it. It is right here. Matthew 19 and 17. As a matter of fact, what he said is in the book of Matthew, in the book of Mark, and in the book of Luke. Let's read Matthew 19 and 17. And he said unto him, because the guy, as a matter of fact, when you go to the actual scripture, the guy who was speaking to Yahweh Shai, he said, good master. Right? And this was Yahweh Shai's reply. He said unto him, why callest thou me good? <laughs> what does that mean? Now, am I saying Yahweh Shai was not good? Absolutely not. Of course he was good. But even he came to the conclusion, I'm talking about Yahweh Shai, that is, even he came to the conclusion he has to be perfected. And indeed he was perfected. He is perfected. He's perfect. Yeah, I'm talking about Yahweh Shai. Okay? But at that moment, even he had to come to the conclusion he had to be perfected. This is before he did the sacrifice that he did, which, which brought him to the state of perfection. This is before he did the sacrifice 
that he did on the cross. When, when this incident happened, when the guy said to him, good master, and when he replied, why are you calling me good? Okay? When Yahweh Shai did that sacrifice on the cross, that's what perfected him. That perfected him because he did, he did everything that the Heavenly Father said for him to do. That was prophesied of him to do. He did it. He did it all. So, so of course, he is perfect. He's perfected. Okay? But the point I'm making is even at that point in time, even he was saying, why are you calling me good? Right? And he said unto him, why callest thou me good? There is none good but one, <laughs> that is the heavenly father, Yahweh. But if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandments. Right? Now that was Matthew 19 and 17. How about Mark? Mark 10 and 18. And Yahweh Shai said unto him, why callest thou me good? There is none good but one that is the Father. Come on, how you get around that? For those of you, those of you that are saying that I'm blaspheming because I said Yahweh Shai wasn't perfect. No, Yahweh Shai was perfected after he did that sacrifice, after he sacrificed himself. He received, one of the blessings he received was perfection. He himself said it. He said, after the third day I shall be perfected. That's what he said. I'm going by what he said, right? So Mark 10 and 18, and Yahweh Shai said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one that is the heavenly father. That was Mark 10 and 18. And finally Luke says the same thing. And Yahweh Shai said unto him, Why callest thou me good? None is good save one that is the heavenly father. There you go. So let me go back to uh, Romans. Romans 7, right? So we're talking about uh, the fact that we are not good, we're still in sinful flesh, we're desiring to be perfect. So ipso facto, which is Latin for by the fact itself, we cannot be under the new covenant. Under the new covenant, you are good, you are perfect, you don't sin. And you also have a, a, a body that is immortal. That's under the new covenant. You have an immortal body. Do we have that right now? No, so we're not under the new covenant. It's, it's just that simple. Now, there are those that's going to get it, and there are many that's not. Okay, like I'm about to show you on the comment board. All right, <laughs> Romans 7 and 18. For I know that in me that is in my flesh dwelleth no good thing. For to will is present with me, but how to perform that which is good I find not. So that's the conflict that all of us face. In this knowledge and this truth, we're constantly fighting our flesh, which is wicked, inherently wicked. Our flesh is inherently wicked. Okay, and we're constantly fighting it. Our spirit is constantly fighting our flesh. Okay, for the good that I would, I do not. The Apostle Paul is breaking it down for you. But the evil which I would not, that I, that I do. Now, if I do that I would not, it is no more I that do it. But sin that dwelleth in me, underneath the new covenant, you cannot sin. You can't sin. It's impossible. Go read what the new covenant is, man. Go read Ezekiel 36 and 24. Start there. Then read Hebrews 8 and 6. Under the new covenant, which the word covenant means agreement, the agreement is we're going to be made perfect and you cannot sin. You can't even have so much as an evil thought, which is sin, under the new covenant. What we are truly under, brothers, is grace. Okay, that's what we're under. We've been showed favor by Yahweh, Baal Shem Yahweh Shai, to learn this knowledge, this truth, and to obtain salvation through Yahweh Shai. That's what we're under, grace. Okay? These guys are putting, these unlearned idiots are putting the cart before the horse. That's why they ain't going nowhere. You got to put the horse before the cart, man. Okay? I find then a law that when I would do good, evil is present with me. Underneath the new covenant, you can't do evil. Evil is not present with you under the new covenant. Let's read that again. The Apostle Paul, once again, is breaking down what we are facing in this truth as of this moment. The conflict of two natures. Our flesh constantly f uh, fighting against our spirit in this thing of ours. That's why certain guys tap out. Because they can't, 
they can't keep up the battle, man. They can't keep the fighting going. You're going to be fighting to the very end. Why do you think is it is written, endure hardness as a good soldier? Why do you think, it is, it is again, it is written, uh, those that endure to the end shall be saved. Endure what? If you're under the new covenant, why are you enduring? Under the new covenant, you, everything is smooth. Your path is smooth. You don't have to endure. Endure what? These guys, they err not knowing the scriptures. They don't know what the hell they're talking about. <laughs> Let's keep reading, man. 21st verse. I find then a law that when I would do good, evil is present with me. Evil is not present with you when you're under the new covenant. For I delight in the law of the Heavenly Father after the inward man. Yeah, that's, that's all of us that really believe in the truth. That's what we delight after. We want to be made perfect. We want to be perfect. But it's simply impossible in this flesh. We cannot attain the state of perfection like what Yahushai has. We cannot attain that in this flesh. That's why the Apostle Paul said we must be changed. The new covenant is the state of perfection, man. The new covenant is the state of perfection. When you're perfect. <laughs> 23rd verse. But I see another law in my members warring against the law of my mind. Isn't that the battle that we all face in this knowledge and this truth? Do we not all face that battle? Let's read it again. But I see another law in my members warring against the law of my mind. And bringing me into captivity to the law of sin. Hold up. Under the new covenant, how can you be brought to the, in captivity to the law of sin? Under the new covenant. That's not the new covenant. The Bible is very specific on what the new covenant is. Under the new covenant, first of all, your body is changed. And, you, and you're given a body that's conducive to automatically following the law, statutes, and commandments of the Heavenly Father perfectly. That's the new covenant. The Bible is very clear on what the new covenant is all about. Read Ezekiel 36 and 24, Hebrews the 8th chapter begin at the 6th verse, and other scriptures that tell you what the new covenant is. Under the new covenant, you're not brought into captivity to the law of sin, which is in my members. You're not brought to... <laughs> Come on, man. Under the new covenant, you are not brought into captivity to the law of sin. You're delivered from it totally, okay? And bringing me into captivity to the law of sin, which is in my members. The Apostle Paul is breaking it down. We are all what the Apostle Paul is saying right here. We're all going through that right now in this knowledge, in this truth, okay? Then he goes on to say this, oh, wretched man. He came to the conclusion that he's a wretched man. Under the new covenant, you're not a wretched man. Under the new covenant, you're a perfect man. You're perfected like Yahweh Shai. You're just like Yahweh Shai. You're perfected under the new covenant. <sighs> My goodness, man. A wretched, oh, wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me from the, <laughs> who shall deliver me from the body of this death? What's the answer to that? Yahweh Shai. Who's going to bring us to the new covenant? That's why we're under grace. We're under grace to obtain favor to achieve that, man. That's why I did my video, We Are Under Grace. In reality, we're not under the new covenant right now. We're under grace. Now, am I saying we'll never be under the new covenant? Of course not. We're under grace to have a chance at being under the new covenant. What's the new covenant? When we're made perfect. What does it mean to be perfect? You keep the law, statutes, and commandments, every last one of them, right? You keep it to the state of perfection, okay? And that's where we're heading, all right? Remember, if you break one law, it, says, it tells you that in James, it's almost that you're guilty as breaking all of them. Under the new covenant, that's simply impossible. You cannot break any law. It's simply impossible to sin underneath the new covenant. Now, these same clowns that disagree with me, can they tell me they don't sin? Well, you already have these two morons that say they can't die. When, uh, when uh, uh, Chief Priest al put the question to those two jackasses and asked him, hey, can you die? You say you're, you're, you're under the new covenant. They also were saying that they're, they're the apostles because the other guy said, you're looking at them. <laughs> al said, oh, yeah, really? Well, can you guys die? You know, humming, humming, humming up, and they started uh, stuttering. 
Then finally they said, well, that's what it says. Under, new, under the new covenant, you can't die. Yeah, no shit. Under the new covenant, you can't die. But why do we die now? Because we're not under the new covenant. We're actually under sin. We're, under, we're, we're actually under sin. We're in sinful flesh. We sin every day. All right? That's why we do the Day of Atonement. That's why we keep praying and fasting. So that Yahweh Bashim Yahshai forgives us of our sins. I mean, it's so easy to understand, man. Anyway, the 24th verse. O wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me from the body of this death? I thank Yahweh through Yahweh Shai, our Lord, so then with the mind, I myself serve the law of, of the Heavenly Father, but with the flesh, the law of sin. Now, underneath the new covenant, that's simply impossible. You can't sin. Underneath the new covenant, you, you've uh, served the law of the Heavenly Father, period. You don't serve the law of sin. You're not under the law of sin. You're not under the flesh. Even though we're going to be in flesh, but th those bodies are going to be changed. Why do you think our bodies got to be changed? Why does the Apostle Paul say this mortality, which we're in right now, must put on immortality? Why? So we can be under the new covenant, totally. What's the new covenant? Where well, we keep the law perfectly. The commandments, perfectly. We don't break not one of them. It's impossible to do that. Okay? That is the new covenant. So let's get back to Romans 6 and 14. So, so that being said, we are under what? We are under, like he said, like the Apostle Paul said here. For, for sin shall not have dominion over you, for you are not under the law, but under grace. And you know, a lot of guys have a problem with the words of the Apostle Paul. Just like Peter said, 2 Peter, let's get it, 2 Peter 3 and 16. And this is clearly shown when you deal with topics like this. You know, emotions, uh, people get emotional. And the ones who get emotional are because they lack understanding. They err not knowing the scriptures. This is 2 Peter 3 and 16, and as also in all his epistles, speaking in them of these things in which some things are hard to be understood. <laughs> yeah, like the new covenant. <laughs> which they that are unlearned and unstable rest. There you go. They get all emotional. They get butthurt. You know, they got this one guy trying to sow discord between me and Apostle Taha. Because he, Apostle Taha said, yeah, we're under the new covenant. And then he said, he said, yeah, we're under the new covenant. But he also said, we're, under, we're not under the new covenant right now. He said that. All right, I'm going to take you to the comment board. You, you'll see for yourself. This guy trying to sow discord. Now, mind you, the Heavenly Father gave that guy a strong warning. He almost died. He got into this car crash. You'll see. All right. And Hayes, he's still sowing mischief. He's still sowing, trying to sow discord among brethren. Nigga, you ain't right, child of child of light. Nigga, you ain't right. You ain't right, all right? Just like John the Baptist said, bring forth fruits, meat for repentance. You ain't meat for repentance, man. Okay? That's your problem. You're, re like, like it says in Jeremiah 6 and, what is it, 6 and 23, reprobate silver, the Lord have rejected them. All right? I'm talking about you, child of light should be child of darkness. Let's keep reading. All right. Again, this is why certain, so many guys have a problem with the, the writings of the Apostle Paul. You got to be on, the, number one, you got to be on the level to understand the writings of Apostle Paul, man. You got to be on the, the Holy Spirit got to be seriously working with you for you to understand his writings. That's why P, even, this is Peter, the head disciple, said this of Apostle Paul. 2 Peter 3 and 16, and also in all his epistles, speaking in them, of these things in which some are some things hard to be understood, which they that are unlearned and unstable rest, like the new covenant thing, as they do also the other scriptures unto their own destruction. Okay? There you go. Now, I'm going to go to the comment board of the video that I did and show you what I'm talking about here. Okay? You got a few non non learned no reprobates that that got their their panties in a bunch right and one of the main ones pops porter tv he's one of them okay let me read his comment here will the elect men die not all of them some of them will but then 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 again 
there is no such thing as death. Is it not written, for we all live unto the Lord? So, so what's your point? In reality, there's no such thing as death. Again, it is written, we all live. The Most High is not, look, do we not, do we not say we are of the line of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob? Well, there you go. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the Most High is the power of the living. This is what Yahweh Shai said. <laughs> he, used, he used the very same answer. We, we, our forefathers is uh, supposedly dead men, right? Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. But guess what? They're not dead. They're very much alive. Even as Yahweh Shai himself is alive. As a matter of fact, Isaac, back in his past, Yahweh Shai back in his past was Isaac. Is Yahweh Shai very much alive? Absolutely. You see, you see the point? So what is the point I'm making? There's really no such thing as death. We all live to Yahweh, whether, as it is written, whether we live or die, we all live to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. We're, we're alive. So why are, you, why are you talking about death? Because you, nigga, you're dead from the neck up. Because you've, you've wandered out of the way of understanding. Proverbs 21 and 16. The man who wandered out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. That's why you, you started your comment first with, will the elect men die? <laughs> you say preoccupied with death. I'm preoccupied with life, man. All right? No, because they are under the new covenant. Oh, boy. You see, you see what I'm talking about? You see what I'm talking about? No, because they are under the new covenant. Now you're all riding with Sakari. Another guy who's trying to sow discord. And I bet you if I go to his channel, this guy don't put out... As a matter of fact, let's do that. Let's go to his channel. Let's go to Mr. Pops Porter TV. Let's go to his channel. Let's see just how, uh, how diligent he is in the faith. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. This channel has no videos. <laughs> you see? This channel has no videos. So just how diligent is this guy? Here you go. There's your answer. All right. So let's get back to the New video. Covenant prophet. Let's get back to the video. Right? Now, here's the guy right here. Um, as you can see, spiritual life lesson. They, they already came on the video. But I'm not even... Like Apostle Tara said, they're persona non grata. I'm not even dealing with them clowns. Okay? The Bible says, go from the presence of a foolish man when you perceive us not in him the lips of knowledge. Those guys, those guys, have been, they've been rejected a long time ago. Now, here's this child of light guy, right? So he starts off with, uh, and we're going to read some, we're going to read these comments here, right? Um... He starts off with, Apostle Taha said, we are in the new covenant. <laughs> you obviously you totally misunderstood what Apostle Taha said. Apostle Taha will be the first to agree we are not under the new, we're not, he said, wait, wait a minute, he said, we are in the new covenant? Apostle Taha would never say we're in, we are in the new covenant. What he would say is, we're under grace to be, to achieve the, uh, under, you know, the, the new covenant. That's what he would say. Okay, and, and I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that's what he, when he, you know, when he said we are in the new covenant, which he did say it, right? He'll be the first to tell you we're not under the new covenant right now. He'll be the first to tell you that, okay? Because clearly we are not, we are not under the new covenant right now. Now, this guy said, he said that we are in the new covenant. You know what? The only one that can rectify that is Apostle Tar. okay? So let's move on. When will you be rebuking Apostle See, there's that discord. You want to sow that discord. See, that's what they want. They would, they would love nothing more than to see a breakup between myself and Apostle Or not just me, any man in GMS who's, who's top rank in GMS. They would guys like that would love to see that. That would justify their own failure because they couldn't make the grade. You see, that would justify their own failure because they couldn't make the grade. They were rejected. You know, like the old saying goes, misery loves company. These individuals are miserable, okay? They're miserable, and they're non-productive in the truth. Just like that Pops Porter TV. We went to his channel. You're going to tell him he's, non, he's, he's, he's productive, right? When, when we went to the video section, this channel has no videos. Come on, man. <laughs> 
Anyway, let's move on. It says, well, I replied to him, well, Apostle Tar said we are under grace. I'm sorry, Apostle Tar. <laughs> Apostle Paul, <laughs> that's kind of spiritual. Well, Apostle Paul said we are under grace. That's what he said, Romans 6 and 14. He said we're not under the law right now. We're under grace. To be under the new covenant, oh, that means you're under the law. Does this guy even know what the new covenant is? Most of these guys don't. Furthermore, Apostle Tar also said, we are not under the new covenant right now. And I clearly remember him saying that. He'd have to say that because that's the truth. Apostle Tar ain't going to speak no lies. He's going to speak truth. We're not under the new covenant right now. Okay? Now, if you want to believe you're under the new covenant or you're in the new covenant, you be my guest. It just shows you don't understand what the new covenant is. Okay? So he came back with... Uh, Will you retract your statement and apologize if video footage were to pop up of Apostle Tar saying that we are in the new covenant? <laughs> you see, there's that discord. There's that yeah, video. If a video were to pop, pop up by you, mind you, when I go to your channel now, right? Let's go to his channel, Mr. Child of Light. Let's go to his channel. Let's see if he's a beehive of activity <laughs> in, doing the, in doing the ministry, in doing the work. Let's go to videos. All right, at least he has a few. He has a few videos on his channel, right? He has a few videos. The last video he did was two months ago, right? The last video this guy did was two months ago. I'm probably sure is is bordering on three months ago. Okay, so by that rationale, this is not a productive guy in the ministry. The the Bible speaks about giving diligence to make your call in an election sure. This guy is not diligent. But what he is diligent in is trying to sow discord among, uh, among men in GMS. And, he go, and he's shooting for the top, okay? He's, he's starting with Elder Pastor on down, trying to sow that discord. That's, that's what he's diligent in doing, this child of light character. Now, um, check this out. Some video I saw. Now, here's a guy who, who resigned. Here's a video he did, all emotional and shit. You know, let's check it out. The name of this video is My Testimony and Resignation. Resigned from what? What did you resign from? But, but here it is, you trying to correct me on the video that I did? And, and meanwhile, you, you resigned? My Testimony and, res, and Resignation. What did you resign from? Anyway, let's play, let's play some of this video. Yeah, where did you learn that from? My name is Paul. Now, now, meanwhile, in this video, he, he speaks about correcting GMS. But where did you learn the how about Shem Yao Shai, Baal Kodash? Where did you learn that from? The same group you claim you're going to correct or you're trying to correct. You get these upstarts, all right, who, 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 who barely learn two scriptures, but to make a name for themselves, for them to feel important, they, they, they shoot for trying to correct the same teachers that taught them. That's so they can, uh, they can, uh, how they say, um, they can, um, they can, uh, there's a phrase for it. They can get one up on you, for lack of a better term. All right? They can get one up on you. Okay? They can use you, there it is, they can use you as a come up. That's what these guys do. Okay? Because in, in reality, they're nobodies, and they know deep down inside the Holy Spirit ain't dealing with them. So this, this is, and they're miserable, so this is the shit that they do, okay? They try, to, they try to use you as a come up, okay? So they can get some kind of recognition, okay? I just wanted to give a, a testimony on the events yeah. oh. that happened in my life. I'm going to fast forward this one. I was rewarded by a number of the tests in the spirit. And um, you know, a lot of those tests I just didn't have the answer for. So I turned it. Yeah, because the Holy Spirit ain't dealing with you. That's why you didn't have an answer for you, for those tests. Right. Okay. I started using it to just solve, you know, my problem. Okay. He just on me as well as sisters are not familiar with the lot, okay? <clears throat> this is a uh, Proverbs. Proverbs 
Proverbs 6, Lord, man. And uh, spiritually, I felt like I needed some direct answers, you know. And the Lord, you know, for the most part, I won't even say for the most part, every part came through, you know, every time. And, um, you know, it was just another day. There's a part in the video, I was listening to it earlier, there's a part in this video where he talks about trying to correct GMS. Okay, but, but let's listen some more. I was trying to find that part, but it's in there. All you have to do is go back and watch watch this video if you got the stomach for it. Um, I was casting lots. Just to... Where'd you learn casting lots from? So I got some problems, and um, the Lord, the thought across my mind to leave GMS. To leave GMS? So why are you still hanging around, man? Why are you still hanging around? Why are you watching? You left GMS, right? You resigned from GMS. Why are you watching my videos? Do you not know I'm part of GMS? Why are you watching my videos? Huh? I, I thought you left GMS. <laughs> um, you know, initially, I refused. I thought I was tripping. You know, thought I was... So he was, he was, he was, he was uh, battling himself whether he should leave GMS because he was offended. What did D. Howard Shai say about those that are offended. And, it, and I, from judging from the thumbnail of that video is over the rape thing. The, or the grape, I should have said the grape thing. He's offended. He was one of those guys that was offended by that. And mind you, uh, he's talking about, now, now I'm going to show you something. He's talking about, oh, Apostle Toss said we're under the new covenant. Well, really, is that, is that, is that so? Apostle also said he, he was the first one who brought out about the grape thing. You had a problem with that, right? You had a problem with what Apostle Tar said concerning the grape thing. Meanwhile, <laughs> meanwhile you, you see how these guys think they're slick. Meanwhile, you're going to try to use that against me. Well, Apostle Tar said we're under the new covenant. We're in the new covenant. If a video should pop up of him saying it, will you apologize to me? Why didn't you believe Apostle Tar when he said about the grape thing? Why did that offend you? So much so that you decide to you decide to resign from GMS. That's the title of your video, right? The title of your video is uh, uh, my resignation, my testimony and resignation. Resignation from what group? GMS. Over what? Over the great thing. Who taught it? Who first taught it? Apostle Ta. Why you had a problem with that? Huh? You're full of shit, nigga. All right. Matthew 11 and 6, it says, And blessed is he whosoever shall not be offended in me. There you go. Let's get back to this, this, this guy's lamentation. See, that's how I know that this video, he resigned, his testimony, and he resigned. He resigned because he was offended at the grape issue. When Polite came down and we had to deal with the grape issue, he was one of those guys that was offended. Now, again, Apostle Tao was the first to teach that, all right? He was the first to go into the grape issue. He was the main speaker at that very event right there. Apostle Tao was the main speaker. You had a problem with him then, but all of a sudden now, oh, Apostle Tao said, we're under the new covenant. We're in the new covenant. Nigga, you full of shit, man. You're a fucking hypocrite, all right? That's, that's what it comes down to, okay? I was crazy before you even think of that. I thought it was his spirits or whatever. So instead of just leaning on my own understanding about their thoughts. You can clearly hear in this guy's voice he's miserable. And like the, like the saying goes, misery loves company. Cast a lot on him. And a lot came back, you know. It came back, you know, with the decision to leave, you know. And I was in disbelief, you know. At first I refused. La, 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 la. To, uh, Boo freaking who? I refused initially. Some time went by and it was still on my mind, you know. And I was told by the Lord to leave. But I was also advised to rebuke, and, well, rather correct GMS. Rebuke and correct GMS. And it's over the, over the, over the grape thing. Right? See? Another loser... Another miserable loser trying to use this as a come up. That's what this is all about. I don't have to play no more of this shit. 
Once then, they, when you keep watching the video, he got into a major car accident. He almost died. That was the heavenly father warning you, man. But you still ain't, ain't take. You still haven't taken the warning, because here you are now on my comment board, trying to sow some discord and mischief. New covenant. All right. This is what you're trying to do. This is what you're trying to do. That's why I blocked your ass. Okay. So, again, uh, my reply to his first comment, uh, he's saying that Apostol said we are in the New Covenant. Well, Apostol said we are under grace. <laughs> I keep saying Apostol. Well, Apostle Paul said we are under grace. Again, that's Romans 6 and 14, right? He said what we're under, which is grace. Furthermore, Apostol also said we are not under the New Covenant right now. I clearly heard him say it. He said it more than once. Okay, I guess he wasn't listening for that. All right. <laughs> so he put, will you retract your statement and apologize if video footage were to pop up? Yeah, pop up by you because you're the sower of, you're the sower of discord. You're the practitioner of mischief. That's what you are. If video footage were to pop up of Apostar saying that we are in the new covenant. Uh, again, I replied to this moron. Like I said, he also said we are not under the new covenant. So the point is moot. So apology for what? Looking for apology from me. You ain't going to get it, homie. All right? So I can't, again, I came with this. Sowing discord among brethren is what you are trying to do. Child of light, more like child of the devil. That's you. Proverbs 6 and 14. Frowardness is in his heart. He deviseth mischief continually. He soweth discord. That's what these guys do. And it ain't just him. Over the years, I've been in this thing for a very long time. Over the years, I've seen a, a lot of guys try to come uh, with that so discord. If they're not doing it among Apostle Tar and myself, they're doing it among Apostle, Elder Apostle Ramlab and Apostle Tar. That's what they do. That's what these devils do. And you think Apostle Tar is not hip to that? Of, of all of us, he's the, most, he's the one that most hip to that. Guys trying to sow discord. All right? <laughs> So he came back with this. Well, I got footage of Apostle. Now notice, he, he hasn't dealt with uh, what I said in Apostle saying we are all, he also said we are not under the new covenant right now. He never dealt with that. You notice in his next comment, he never dealt with it. Look, well, I got footage of Apostle saying that we are under the new covenant. First he said, we are in. Let's go back to his very first comment. First he said, Apostle he can't even get his, his story straight. First he says, Apostle said, we are in the new covenant. Then he comes back later and says, well, I got footage of Apostle Taha, Apostle Taha saying that we are under the new covenant. <laughs> Which is, are we in the new covenant or under the new covenant? Maybe there isn't a difference. I don't know. Are you suggesting that Apostle Taha is wrong? If, see, he, he, his, he resigned from GMS, right, over the rape issue. So now he's trying to justify, right? He knows within his spirit that he fucked up, all right? Basically, the Heavenly Father don't want him because he's a reprobate. So he knows he fucked up. So if he can prove that I'm speaking one thing and Apostle Tar is speaking another thing, then that'll justify his miserable soul that he did the right thing in leaving GMS. You see, you see the psychology of that shit? That's what, see, that's what he's trying to do. You see? <laughs> well, I got footage of Apostar saying that we are under the new covenant. Are you suggesting that Apostar is wrong if, if he said we are under the new covenant? I already said, I already told you what Apostar said. Apostar said that we are not under the new covenant right now. And I've clearly heard him say it. And even above Apostar, let's go above Apostar. It is possible to go above Apostar, you know. Let's go above him. What did Apostle Paul say? Right? He said, he told us what we're under. And it's recorded right there in the book of Romans 6 and 14. He said, we're under grace. And that's good enough for me. All right? It may not be good enough for you, but it's good enough for me. What Apostle Paul said. We're under grace. Okay? Romans 6 and 14. You go and read it. All right? So he came back with a camp is supposed to speak... To all speak the same thing, right? This is not showing discord. This is gut checking. Oh, it's gut checking, is it? Well, why didn't you check your gut when the when the grape thing came out? 
Because if you did, you would understand that it is biblical. No, you were offended by it. So much so that you decide to resign from GMS. Nigga, you ain't fooling nobody. What, you think you slick? You ain't slick to a can of oil, boy. Okay? <laughs> Why didn't you check your gut then? No, you got offended and you left. You even did a video, what, six months ago? Right? The last video I did was two months ago, which lets me know you're not, you're not, uh, uh, how was I said, if you're in this, in, in this truth, you, you're a uh, living water. Okay? You're living water, and living water constantly flows. You're not flowing. Last video you did was almost three months ago. Where's the gut check in there? Did you check your gut as of late? Why is it taking you uh, more than two months to do a video, an edifying video at that? Chances are the next video you're going to do is going to be about you lamenting about some bullshit you're offended by. You're a reprobate, dude. You're a reprobate. Gut check that, motherfucker. You're a reprobate, okay? This is gut checking. Checking to see if you all truly speak the same thing. Nigga, you resigned from GMS. Why are you still checking for us? We ain't checking for you. You still checking for us. You resigned from GMS, man. It's a wrap with you. Go on about your business, homie. Go on your way, man. You resigned, remember? You resigned from GMS. That was the video you did. My testimony with that stupid music in the background and your resignation. Come on, man. Stop playing yourself, man. That's why I came back with this scripture here. And it was the spirit that made me put the scripture, Acts 13 and 10, and said, Oh, full of all subtility and all mischief. That's these dudes. It ain't just this child of light. And they all, uh, these guys, they always have these exorbitant titles too. You know, this is a child of light. <laughs> yeah, child of light. And the last time you did a video was almost three months ago. What kind of light is that? <laughs> and said, oh, full of all subtility and all mischief, thou child of the devil. That's you, child of light. Thou enemy of all, all righteousness. That's why you'll go back in, to, to his channel and watch that video he did. The one that I I, 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 I I put the clip on. He almost died in a car crash, man. As a matter of fact, he he, he uh, got hit by some drunk driver. That was the hey, man's goings of the Lord. That was the Lord, man. That was the Lord. Because you, you're an enemy of, of righteousness. You, you're full of subtlety and mischief. Okay? And that was a warning from Yahweh Shem Shai. The drunk, drunk driver came from wherever the hell he came from and plowed right into you. Almost killed you. Okay? Thou child of the devil, thou enemy of all, all righteousness, will thou not cease to pervert the right ways of the Lord. There you go. That's what these, these guys do. So I put, get, get lost, Satan. That was my reply to him. Thou art an offense to me. You're blocked. So before I was able to block him, he came back with one last comment. He, you know, these guys, they're just like women, in, in particular, the black woman. They always got to get the last word in. They always got to get the last word in. So he came up with, he, he came with this, uh, the wicked flee when no man pursues. Wait a minute, didn't you flee after uh, you couldn't get the understanding of the grape issue? Didn't you flee? Didn't you resign? Instead of just hanging around and see, or for that matter, praying to you, how about Shemel Shah to give you the understanding of what the pastor said? or taught when he brought up the grape issue, giving you the understanding of what, what that, you know, to, to understand it better, so you wouldn't have been offended by it. No, nigga, you were offended by it, and you fell out. You left GMS, all right? You, you, your, your resignation of GMS, or from GMS. Come on, man. <laughs> man, go, go sit down somewhere, man. We ain't got time for clowns like you. The wicked flee when no man pursueth, but the righteous are as bold as a lion. Yeah, that's me, the righteous, <laughs> bold as a lion. <laughs> You're the one fleeing, nigga. You, you resigned from GMS. Remember that, homie? You resigned. You fled. Okay? So, Ark of Judah came. He put a, he put a scripture, Romans 5 and 20. Moreover, the law, uh, the law entered that the offense might abound, but where sin abounded, grace did much more abound. Beautiful. We're under grace, man. We are under grace, okay? That's uh, Romans 5 and 21, that as sin have reigned un unto death, even so my grace reigned through righteousness unto eternal life by Yahweh Shai Lord. And thank goodness for grace. Thank goodness for grace. 
Now we have, by grace, we have um, access to achieve those immortal bodies, to achieve total righteousness. We have access. We have access through Yahweh Shai, through grace. Okay? And then this guy, he's following the child of darkness, uh, Nahar Nahariah Yahawada, you Satan, homie. Okay, well, thank you for the compliment. Thank you for the compliment. All right? Which is was my reply. I put Matthew 10 and 25, it is enough for the disciple that he be as his master and the servant as his Lord. If they have called the master of the house Beelzebub, who's that? Yahweh Shai. They called him the devil too. There's a scripture where they said Yahweh Shai was deceiving people. Okay? <laughs> so every now and then, if you truly serve Yahweh Bashim Yahweh you're going to be called the devil too. You're going to be called Satan too. So thank you, Nahariya, for your comment. Thank you for your compliment. You know, uh, thank you very much. If they have called the master of the house Beelzebub, how much more shall they call them of his household? And I, I, hey, the Apostle Paul said, we're prisoners of hope. I hope I'm of Yahweh Shai's uh, household. And the fact that I'm always being called the devil, well, maybe I am. <laughs> Because <laughs> they that are of Yahweh Shai's household, they're going to be called the devil too. All right, nigga? <laughs> Thanks for the compliment and guaranteed you're going, you're going, you're going keep, you're going to, I should have put two, you're going to keep watching my channel. This is what they do. Stealing what you like and throwing away what you don't like and don't have the mind to understand. There it is right there. There it is right there. This is what these guys do, man. But anyway, that's the saga. I'll call this the saga of, the, <laughs> call this video, the saga of the child of light, <laughs> aka the child of darkness. All right. So with that, hopefully you brothers were, <laughs> were edified as well as uh, entertained because it was a little entertainment. All right. We're edified and entertained. All right. <laughs> Sometimes you got to do videos like that. So with that, it's on to the next one.